Hello everyone. This is the video lecture of section uh, appendix H2, uh, areas and lengths in polar coordinates. So recall that the area of uh, area formula of a sector, part of a circle, measured by angle theta, radius r, the area, one half of r squared theta. Theta of uh, 2 pi, theta out of 2 pi, this is theta of theta portion out of 2 pi of the entire pi of square, right? That's how you get it. That's we have when you have a circular sector. Now, here we are interested in the area of the region bounded by the sector-like region. This is r equals f of theta from alpha to beta angle. What is the area of this region? Right? Now, again, we're going to introduce Good approximate value. And by splitting this region into small stripes. Like this. Okay? So let's say each these angles are delta theta. So we split this angle from alpha to beta uh, uniformly. So that your, each subregion corresponds to dividing the entire angle from beta minus alpha, that angle, divided by n. Theta i will be alpha plus i times delta. Okay, I runs from 0 to n. And then, so this is, let's say, theta 0, which is alpha. This will be corresponding to theta 1, theta 2, theta 3, and so forth. Right? Then from each angle interval, you choose theta i star i minus 1 to theta i. Okay? Let's say somewhere here. And then using this is theta 1 star. Use r of theta 1 star. What is the radius? We consider this circular sector, right? So, entire area is summation of each section. All right? But then, this one can be approximated by Circular sector formula where your radius is one half f of r one theta and theta one star squared one half r squared theta is delta theta right so instead of the actual first subregion we are approximately using f of theta one star this length is a radius and draw circular sector, right? With delta theta as an angle. So this red area will be a good approximation of the area of the first subregion. Likewise, you can do theta, theta 2 star square delta theta. Theta 2 will be chosen over here. Theta 2 star. Then we draw 
like this, right? And then circular sector of property all the way to one half f of theta star n squared delta theta. So one half f of theta i star squared delta theta. That is exactly Riemann sum of this function, f of theta squared function. Now, the more division you have, better approximation. And if you take the limit as n goes to infinity, that should be the exact value of the area. Limit of Riemann sum of this function is definitely integral from alpha to beta, one half f of theta squared d theta. Or you can just rewrite it. You know, r equals f of theta, you can write it this way, r squared d theta. r is a function of theta, f of theta, so f of theta squared. It's interesting, one half of r squared d theta instead of theta, right? This is a limit of delta theta, as n goes to infinity. Okay? All right. Let's do one example. First example. Find the area enclosed by r equals 2 cosine theta. All right. Okay. In the previous section, H1, we learned that this is actually a circle centered at 1, 0, and radius 1. So we know that the answer must be pi r squared. Pi 1 squared, so pi. Now, this one, look at this. As theta approaches from 0 to pi over 2, see? Think about it. Huh. These are the, all the areas of this sector. This is our f of theta, right? If alpha is 0, 2, pi over 2 will cover the upper semicircle, right? This upper semicircle is actually just like this. r equals 2 cos theta from 0 to pi over 2. Now, pi over 2 to pi will be going this way, right? Again, inside a curve of the same equation. So, this is actually, the area is 0 to pi, 1 half f of theta, which is 2 cos theta squared d theta. 4 times 1 half is 2 cos squared theta d theta. When you have square, cosine of square, we use what? 1 plus sine of 2 theta, cosine of 2 theta, right? The power reduction formula, or doubling the formula variance. Okay? So you will get 2 to cancel. This is 0 to pi. 1 plus cosine of 2 theta, d theta. Theta from 0 to pi. This one, one half sine of two theta, zero to pi, and this one is just pi minus zero pi, cosine of two pi is zero, sine of zero is zero, this is zero, as we expected, pi one squared, so pi, radius one. Okay, another proof of the formula. Circular area formula. Now, let's say if you have <clears throat> what else do I here? let's say your area is made of two this is R equals f of theta. 
Let's say this is r equals g of theta. Two polar curve from alpha to theta. Let's say this is your region. Well, this area is this sector like area, area of this sector region bounded by r equals f of theta minus the area of the secular region bounded by r equals g of theta. Outer curve equation squared. So the area is one half alpha to beta f of theta square d theta minus inner rules. So you can write it one half alpha to beta outer curve equation square minus inner radius square d theta. Okay. All right. So using this, let's find the area of the following. Example two. Find the area of the region lies inside the circle R equals two after three side there and Outside, R is one side of theta. Okay. Now you can easily show that this is a circle sitting on the x-axis like this. One and two. R equals three sine theta. Okay, center that thing zero <coughs> one point five. We learned this one was cardio. Remember, going through one and negative one, two. Okay, so this kind of cardio. So we are talking about the area of this region inside the circle, outside the cardio. We drew this one in one of the examples in uh, appendix H1, previous section. So this is f of theta, this is your g of theta. Is your one plus the g of theta. Now we need to know starting through the intersection point theta equals what and theta equals another. So let's find intersection. Can't find this alpha value and theta. So you have to combine these two equations. So r equals 3 sine theta, r equals 1 sine theta. You get 3 sine theta equals 1 plus sine theta. Right? Solve the system of equation. That means 2 
sine theta equals one, therefore sine theta equals one half. And we know that theta has to be higher six or five times six. So this must be higher six. Five pi over six. Okay. And the area is one half pi over six to five pi over six. As we learned, outer functions okay. minus inner functions squared. Okay, just follow this thing. Then, this is 9 sine squared theta minus 1 plus 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta. Nine sine, of course, so minus one sine squared theta. So you get pi over six two five five pi over six eight sine squared theta minus one minus sine minus two sine theta. Sine squared theta hard to integrate. So we use again power reduction formula. 1 minus cosine of 2 theta over 2. Okay? So 2 to cancel, you get 4 times the above 1. 5 pi over 6. 4 minus 4 cosine of 2 theta. So minus 1 and 4, 3. Right? So integral of 3 from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6, right? 4 minus plus 3. And this one, cosine integrated the sine of 2, you have to have 1 half. So minus 2 sine of 2 theta. You have the integral. Pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6. Minus Plus sine theta integral is minus cosine. So minus minus cancel two cosine theta pi over six two pi pi over six. So inside the brace one half three times. 5 pi over 6 minus pi over 6 is 4 pi over 6, or 2 pi over 3, right? This one, minus 2 times sine of 5 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, minus square root of 3 over 2, minus sine of 2 times pi over 6, pi over 3, minus sine of pi over 3, sine pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2, minus square root of 3 over 2, plus 2 times cosine 5 pi over 6, minus square root of 3 over 2, minus cosine pi over 6, yes, square root of 3 over 2. What is it? Same thing, minus, and here plus. These two all together cancel. Three, three cancel. One half is pi. So it is pi. Okay? The area of this region is pi. So that's you know for the area of hope in polar planes. What about arc layer? Now recall that. When you have a curve C given by x equals f of t, y equals g of t, the length L was from A to B. When you are given a parametric curve, 
square root of dx over dt square dy over dt square. And I explained this one in section, I believe, 3.4, uh, 6.4. This is a speed function. If you consider this is a motion, description of position function of a moving object, this is actual speed. Time into a speed is total distance through the curve, so arc curve, right? All right, then let's say, let's say this is your curve from, you know, theta equals alpha to theta equals theta and this is given r equals f of theta how do we find length okay well just like the way we find dy over dx in the slope of the tangent line to this curve in section h1 appendix h1 we use uh, parameterization from r equals no, x equals r cos theta and r in turn is f of theta and y equals r sine theta which means f of theta so this one gives us parametric equation all right parametric equation for this curve using theta as a parameter. Then your L should be, so we have to find this. So L should be alpha to beta dx over d theta square, dy over d theta square, d theta. Okay? Let's find out this expression. Uh, over here. So, what is dx over d theta squared? That is dx over d theta f prime cosine theta minus f of theta sine theta. f prime g, f g prime. Cosine theta d is minus sine theta. So we have to square. Yes. That means f prime theta square. I'm going to just use f prime. f prime square cosine square theta minus 2f f prime cosine theta sine theta plus f square sine square theta. All right. What about dy over d theta squared? That would be f prime sine theta. See? Product f prime sine theta plus f sine derivative, which is cosine theta. Cosine theta squared. f prime squared plus 2 f prime f sine theta cosine theta plus f squared cosine squared theta. So, look at this. This. So, then if you do dx over d theta squared, dy over d theta squared, if you add them up, f prime square, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta, right? Factoring out f prime squared, and this, these two cancel, f squared, cosine squared theta, sine squared theta. These are one. So it is f prime of theta squared, plus f of theta squared, right? 
So you have new. You have alpha to beta r uh, f of beta squared. Plus f prime of theta square square root d theta. Or you can consider this one. You can write it as r square dr over d theta square d theta. Okay? So you, know, right? you can write Okay. Then example three. Find the arc length of r equals two cosine theta from zero to pi. Be careful, it's not two pi, just pi. Because you remember we drew this circle. That was a circle with radius 1 centered at 1, 0, right? We go over this one one turn from 0 to pi, right? If you go 0 to 2 pi, it was going through twice, okay? So, that means you're asked to find the arc length of a circle with radius 1, circumference of circle with radius 1. So 2 pi r, r equals 1. We should expect to have 2 pi, right? So from 0 to pi, yeah, r, which is this, 2 cosine theta squared, dr over d theta minus 2 sine theta squared, square root d theta, according to the formula. And this is 4 cosine squared, 4 sine squared, inside the square root, this is 1, square root of 4, so constant 2. So let's go to pi. So, as we expected, you're going to get 2 pi, okay? So 2 pi r works. Okay, this is the end of section uh, appendix H2, area and arc length in polar coordinates, okay? All right, I'll see you next time.